This video will show you how to run the ATV312 drive, to run using the terminal as a run command, and to use the keypad dial VW381101 as a speed reference. The first thing you want to do here is put the drive into local control, and to do that, press the mode and hold for three seconds, and your LEDs will flash one at a time to confirm that value. Now you want to press the escape key for about two seconds to put it into programming mode. And again, your LED should be flashed at the same time. Now you want to press enter. Scroll down to the control menu, CTL, enter. You need to make sure your access level is set to level three. And to do that, press enter on LAC. And it's already on level three right now, but you can make that change make sure you press enter for about two or three seconds to confirm once you're on level three. Once that's done, escape back to LAC and scroll down to the FR1 just to confirm that your speed is coming from the A1U1 which is local. Now you want to escape and go down to CHCF enter and set it to separate clockwise. Once that's set Escape back to your screen, CHCF, and then scroll down to CD1, enter. And this one, since we want the terminals to be your run command, you want to change it to terminals uh, counterclockwise, and then enter. At this point, you're basically done. Now you want to escape back to your main screen list. And again, remember, the elites flashing at the same time means you're in programming mode, so you have to go back into your running mode which again you can toggle back and forth by pressing the escape key. And now our LEDs are flashing one at a time. Now we can use our logic input number one as a run command. And then use our keypad dial, remote keypad dial, as a speed reference. And you can, you can of course tell that the drive and the keypad numbers are changing at the same time.